first graders. Hope you've been reading lots. Um, last week we were working on Off We Go, Readers Go on Adventures. And you were reading books where you could do sneak peeks. You could keep track of where and when things were happening. You could predict what, what might happen next. You could retell the important parts of the story and you could reread to notice more. Those are all really, really important things in first grade. And then you connect those parts together to make sense of the story. Some of you might have been re reading Frog and Toad are Friends, maybe Tiny, Junibee Jones, Marley, or any books that you might have at home or on Epic. This week, we'll be talking about readers meet characters along the way. So our, we're really going to be focusing on characters now. So readers meet characters along the way, and the way we're going to practice this together is with the book Mr. Pudger and Tabby Drop the Ball. So the first um, goal right now is going to be to learn about the characters. So we're going to look at Mr. Pudger, that's this guy right here, and we're going to take a look. What do we already know by looking at the picture of Mr. Pudger? So think in your heads, what is he doing? Where do you think he's at? What kind of clothes is he wearing? Maybe there's other characters in the story. So you might look, he does have a cat. I wonder if he likes cats. And let's see if it, there's any other characters that come along the way. Remember, you can reread to learn more about the characters. We're really focusing on characters right now. And so let's notice their feelings. We're gonna bring them to life when we're reading. So here it is, Cynthia, Ryland, Mr. Putter, and Tabby drop the ball. Oh, I'm noticing that that cat's looking at that ball like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I want to play baseball. This is a chapter book. We won't be reading the whole book. We'll be reading parts of this book. And later I'll send out a video of just me reading the book. So if you do want to hear the whole thing. So we're going to start with chapter one, baseball. Ooh, that already gives us a clue, but I'm looking at Mr. Putter, and I'm noticing that he doesn't look like he's playing baseball. He looks like he's snoozing in the garden, or he's snoozing on the swing, and it looks like his cat likes to snooze with him. And so that doesn't look like to me like that would be anybody playing baseball. Let's read and find out about this character. He looks to me like he just likes to relax. Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, love to nap in the summertime. They love napping in the garden. They love napping on the porch. They love napping in the car. It seems that we nap all the time, Mr. Putter said to Tabby one day. Tabby was old and her frisky days were over. She loved napping. I think we need a sport, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened one eye. Hmm, what are you thinking? What kind of sport? I think we need baseball, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened the other eye. I wonder where my old mitt is, said Mr. Putter. He headed to the basement. Tabby was wide awake now. Oh my goodness, it looks like he's played all kinds of sports. There's a bike and a, looks like a badminton bracket and then a sled and there's an old telephone down there oh, roller skates he's got an interesting basement chapter two looks like he's calling somebody mr putter found his mitt now all we need is a team he told tabby mr Put putter called his friend and neighbor Mrs. T. Berry. Ooh, here comes a new character. So we're keeping track of Mr. Potter, Tabby, and a new character, Mrs. T. Berry. Mrs. T. Berry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked the dogathon with her good dog, Zeke. Ooh, we just learned that she has a dog. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. T. Berry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play, asked Mr. Putter. Heavens no, said Mrs. Deberry, handing Zeke a sniffy bone. You will feel young on that team. So we know now Miss Deberry looks like she's a very active lady and loves sports and dogs. Will my knees feel young on that team, asked Mr. Putter. 
You're not too old, and neither am I, said Mrs. Teaberry. We'll both play. Mr. Putter hung up the phone. I hope I'm not too old, he said to Tabby. Tabby just purred. To her, Mr. Putter was perfect. I think she likes sitting around. So we're going to stop there, and we're going to go back, and we're going to talk about the readers meeting characters along the way. So we just found out a lot of things about Mr. Um, Putter. We found out that there's more characters in Mr. Putter's book, and he. we have to talk about those characters. Maybe we'll reread to learn more about the characters, and you can do that on the re, um, when I'm recording it for you. Bring the characters to life when you're reading them. And notice when the feelings change. Do you think Mr. Putter was very excited first to go and play baseball? And then his feeling kind of changed after he called Mrs. Peabury because he kind of was like, am I too old? And, you know, and she was reassuring him he wasn't too old. So his char the characters change sometimes in the book. Pay attention to that. Spend some time this week reading books that have characters in them and find out about those characters all along the way. Happy reading. We'll see you later.